Hey guys, so I am here with uh, baby Lizzie and Jade. Um, they are where they were supposed to be sleeping, but as you can see, Jade is woke. But my purpose of coming on today is to show you guys um, quickly the um, tote that I have. A lot of people have been asking for me to show it. So um, it is a baby tote. Let me see which is the best way. I may have to move Lizzie. To show you guys this. I wasn't thinking about that. Yeah, I'm going to have to move Lizzie. So, give me one moment. I just need to move my Lizzie. Come on. Mm -hmm. I just put her There. Okay, so the bag... Um... It's reversible, number one. So it has a tie, it has snaps inside. And this is what the inside looks like. Let's see, I'm in the light. Bad video. Okay, so I'm in the light. So it has a, it's like a bed. And I put this little pillow in there for them. And I usually lay a blanket over it. But this ties into a bow. And it's like a really cute bag. And then on the other side is this. The only thing I would recommend is that you buy one without glitter. This one I didn't realize it had glitter. I don't buy anything with glitter for my dolls typically because especially with silicone babies because it's a beast trying to get it off um, them later. But other than that, um, because even when I flip it inside, the glitter tends to you know come off a little bit here and there not a whole lot but but other than that I mean I absolutely love it it's large enough for even um Lizzie to fit in and then it also flips on the other side which this is the side I really like so in the bottom it's the like a mauve color and they're one of a kind type bag so they have different styles um, I really want another one, but I want a more of the cotton cloth type one that's not with any um, glitter. So, let's see. So, this is the other one. This is how it goes. So, I probably could put Lizzie in here for you guys to see. Let me see. Alright, so I really like that side. Oh no, I can't do it because I just flipped it over to, <laughs> to the glitter side. So I, I can't put Lizzie in that side. Hang on. Yeah, I can do that side with my Reborns. Um, but I don't do that side with my silicone babies because that glitter gets on them. But... I have another big bag that my granny gave me one time. It kind of looks like a um, Vera Bradley bag, but it really isn't. It's a handmade tote like this, and I can actually use that to put my babies in. Um, somebody was asking what's the difference in this bag and getting just a regular tote. And I'll be honest with you, it really isn't a whole lot of difference. It's just a matter of these are more stylish um, and then they're reversible and that's what they're they're kind of made to carry the babies so they kind of snap in a way but let's see so she's in the bag I'm gonna show you guys see if I can I'm gonna pick you guys up but yeah so she's in the bag um, I would like adjust her head you know so she's at a comfortable angle type thing um she's really big so she's pushing it with the bag but she does fit um i'll take her out but i normally make it comfy for her i'll put a blanket in there and stuff and just make it you know make her look very relaxed in there not in an awkward position 
so it don't look like I just threw her in the bag or something like that. But um, because I've told her in there, I can't carry my these dolls in bags where they don't look comfortable because it just don't look right because they look too real to be, you know, doing that to them. So, um, so yeah, so. So that is the bag. Um, like I said, it has the snaps. You could snap it up and everything, and it becomes a really cute bag. Um, I mean, it even kind of, it don't have really as much as the baby bag look, but I don't know. The thing about these bags is, like I said, they're very, they're handmade. They're like very uniquely done very professionally done they don't look handmade um they come with coas and stuff like that so um i think they start from 180 or something like that on up um so they are very expensive but yeah i was looking for regular plain bags too that i could find another bag and I thought about that bag that I have, so I said I could use that. And, um, but yeah, you could get a really nice tote, I think, and be okay. Like, this is, I mean, it's not really. Now, her other ones, the cloth ones, I really, really like them. But like I said, it, it's, it falls down. Let me see if I know how to do it. Um... They fold down to where they look like a little bed. I didn't show y'all that part. Um, so I guess that would be the other difference in just a regular bag. So they they fold down like this. I don't know if you guys can see that. So then they look like a little little bed. It's kind of hard for me to show you guys because of the way, I, the way I got the camera. But, yeah, it folds down like a little, like it's a regular little bassinet. So if you, like, wanted to use it to sit it on, like, a shelf or something, it would serve as a purpose of, like, a little bed. So it 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 is worth the money. It is a different than a regular tote, I guess I would say that. Um, I'm very pleased with it and I, I look forward to getting another one. Um, like I said, the only thing I had a fit about is when I realized that it had glitter. Cause I just, I'm just not a glitter person with silicone babies. Um, I, if I see an outfit, I don't care how much I love it. If it have a speck of glitter, I leave it. So, yeah, but, um, there's too much money not to use, so... Uh, one of my friends told me something to do to try to get the loose glitter so that I don't have glitter, but I don't bother it. I really like the bag. I don't want to mess it up. So, um, but yeah, so that is the tote. Um, thanks guys for watching. Um, I have a lot more of chatting videos coming up. Some more topics that I want to discuss and... Um, I'll, maybe I'll see you guys live real soon. Okay. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.